Sex you in third world demands. Stay out of class. Join the picket lines. Go to your departmental caucuses. Police Department, Joe White of the Administration, uh, Donald Province of the Philosophy Department, Peter Radcliffe, Philosophy Department, James Royce, Philosophy Department. We're going to compare the rioters and looters of today with the criminals, the rioters, and looters of the Boston Tea Party. Everybody remembers that. White folks said that they were tired of taxation without representation. All of us were taught that in elementary school. White people were tired of taxation without representation. And the same thing has happened today. All the people of the third world, of Africa, Asia, and Latin America are tired, slaverously tired, of being taxed without having any representatives in the college president's offices without being college presidents, without being president of this crackerjack country, without being the mayor of a city, without being in control of the school board, without controlling and determining the destiny of their own community. The revolutionary struggle of the Black Students Union and the Third World Liberation Front at San Francisco State College is based on the fact that third world people must have the power to determine their own educational destiny. We will fight a continuous and prolonged struggle until all 15 non-negotiable demands are met. Not only on this college, but in this country. Curiosity seekers and bystanders, please go home. This is an unlawful assembly. I don't know if you can get all of what I have to say, but as a black mother and a black woman, I feel education has a dual role. And I'm particularly concerned at the kind of uh, action that is taking place across the nation in the area of education. The idea of decentralizing schools so that schools can really meet the needs and demands of people in the community. Now we have three demands as members of the black community, that this school be immediately closed down. And Filipino, not very many of you know the difference. For your information, Philippine refers to the country and Filipino refers to the people. This is exactly what we want. In this campus is a study of Filipino culture and history. As a press release or as a basis for this entire movement, we've set this up right now. We ask that this campus be reopened at once by the school administration. Second. Number three. We have decided that it is time for the, what we term the silent majority of this campus. <laughs> to express their opinion at the polls. Wait, I want to ask a question. Everyone's saying they should have stood up and spoke. What's wrong with standing up and speaking now in this manner? Come on. We need new people to represent us in this campus, people who aren't going to allow the kind of situation that has developed here in the last couple of days to happen George ever George. again. On strike, shut it down! On strike, shut it down! And we will continue to strike until all the demands are met. Until all the demands are met. There's two mass meetings we want to announce. One is tonight at 7.30. 
Sacred Heart Church of the Defendants. The other is at 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon with the White Strike Support Committee at the Old Print Men. Civilization 1. Uh, well, today we are going to discuss the ramifications of individual participation in acts of civil disobedience. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, you pointy-headed nigger lovers, move. This ain't no debate in society, I mean move. I'm going. Come on, pagan. Uh, officer, officer, uh, couldn't you do this somewhere else? There's a, there's a class in session here. Officer, officer, please, don't hit him there. That's the gluteus maximus. <laughs> please, please, I, I beg you. The point is to show that um, there's certain corporate interests that run the universities. And n not coincidentally, these same corporate interests also run the newspapers. When I talk about their attempts to unionize, now when the black struggle comes to the campus and manifests itself through a black studies program, which eventually will organize and is organizing community people to fight for a decent life, the, the profits of Del Monte Corporation are very directly threatened. It is in the interest of Mr. Swim to keep Mexican-American people from getting an education, because who else is going to pick in his fields for a dollar and a quarter an hour? You know, to struggle against, against the institutions and against the people who control those institutions, you know, who are uh, maintaining those people, maintaining third world people, you know, prevent in, in a position of oppression and preventing them from getting in, you know, preventing them from using this institution, you know, to uh, end that oppression. We're saying the attack on George Murray, the attack on the, on the third world programs, the attack on the black studies programs were an attempt by the administration, by the trustees, and by the, you know, the state government to, um, you know, to suppress the right of non-white people in this country to fight, you know, and to stand up and fight together. If he's rehired and the demands are met, the strike will be over. But we're saying, in relation to the attack, which we consider racist, it, it is in the interest of white students and white people in the community to support these 10 demands, to support the strike, because racism is used in this society as a divisive force. state fire our brains and kill our spirits because they have an empire to administer and we are the tools so here come the black students telling the administration no you can't run us they say you can't fire our brother George Murray you can't treat black studies like a minor subject they say you have to replace the financial aid officer and they say as long as the administration doesn't meet our just demands, this school can't go on functioning.